Today we're going to do a base, basic uh, tutorial on how to break a wall. Again, this is a beginner tutorial, so it's very simple. We're going to need three things. We're going to need a character to run through the wall, a wall, and then a force to, to break the wall. So let's get a mannequin, put him in place go to uh, the starter content, grab a wall, do a search, uh, select a wall, put it in, and now we need our force. So to do this you have to go to the engine content and the engine content w may not show up so you you may have to go to settings and turn it on. So go to settings show engine content, you turn it off, turn it on, okay you want it on and then you go to the engine and you search for FS master field and that is your physics device that will uh, explode your wall and we'll go through that more in a minute. What you see right now you run it we have nothing because we haven't put anything together. All this has to be put together. So first thing we'll do is we'll right click and we'll drag the mannequin down and add the animation. Let's use jog since that just pops up. And we have to, when he starts out he runs in place, we've got to uh, put a begin point end point. So first thing we'll key, we'll start him where we want him to start and set a key and then we will move him through the wall to the other side and set the end key. Put him about there. And now transform it. Now if we play it, he runs through the wall. Not breaking it yet. Okay, the next step is to select the wall and fracture it. So we go to fracture new and we create a geometry collection and it's called the wall geometry collection. We can keep this simple. There's a lot of tutorials on how to fracture but we don't the more fractures you have the, the more processing power it takes. So we're going to keep it very simple. We're going to leave everything default. We're going to hit fracture. You notice we get 20 pieces. We're going to go back up and there's a little explode amount here that you can go up and see what it's going to look like. So we're going to keep it very simple. Since it is a beginner tutorial, then we go back to selection. We have our mannequin, we have our force field, and we have our wall. So now we just have to break it. First, let's go ahead and uh, go to show on the wall and turn off the bones, the colored bones, and then we'll go down to the starter content and we'll pick a material for the wall. Let's clear that out. Uh, material, how about concrete? Sounds good. And now we have a concrete wall, we have mannequin, and we have a force field but when you play it nothing happens. So what we have to do is we ha have to go to the force field and we have to move it around and let's see what we get. Uh, that's not quite what we get. Depending on where you put the, the force field um, the wall will break differently, so what we'll do is we'll enlarge it, and that's a more forceful break, that's good. And then we'll move it a little bit just to show you what happens when you move this around. If you move it, whichever side you move to, it'll break it through the opposite side. So there, when you move it there, it's breaking to the, to the opposite side. So you can move this around, play with it. Make it bigger, make it smaller until you get the right effect. And you, you can even go put more fractures in there if you want more pieces. But just be aware that it takes more processing power. So let's put this in a place, and that's about right. So now we have to get that breaking action into sequencer. 
because you see right now it doesn't break on its own. So next thing we'll do is we'll select the wall, go up to Actor, go to Chaos, and we're going to create a cache manager. We're going to name it, uh, let's see, how about, uh, yeah, wall cache. Sounds good. So now we have a cache manager, so we select that. And you see we're in the record mode, the wall cache, and start time zero. So now when we play it, we're going to record the action. Okay, now we've recorded that with the cache manager. So we go back, and if we select play, we can see what we just recorded. And you can see the wall breaking. So now we have to take that cache manager and we have right click and pull it down into the sequencer. Now we have that recorded wall breaking in the sequencer and we just got to set the timing. So we want to start time of zero and key that and then pull it down to the end and we want an end time and let's just put two seconds worth of the cache in there and if you play it now you can see the wall breaking but the timing's off a little bit now you have to move to where the mannequin hits the wall and then reset that to the start time of the cache recording and now you line it up and he hits the wall and breaks it so not, now that and you can play with the timing if you don't like it one way or the other but that's all there is to it.